Hello, I'm Paritosh, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'll show you how to set up a JITP environment with a custom root certificate authority registered with AWS IoT and a JITP template that helps them onboard custom certificates and private keys for their IoT devices. Let's get started. Just-in-time provisioning is a feature in AWS IoT used for provisioning and onboarding a new device without writing much code. It's mainly used when customers plan to use their own root CA instead of Amazon provided root CA and need an easy way to provision and onboard multiple devices onto AWS IoT. The set of tasks for just-in-time provisioning includes registering your root CA with AWS IoT and then attaching a provisioning template to it. Now, when a new device connects to AWS IoT, the following provisioning steps are done for the device. Register the device certificate to AWS IoT and set its status to pending activation. Create a thing. Create a policy. Attach policy to certificate. Certificate to thing. Update the certificate status to active. Let's go ahead and create our own just-in-time provisioning workflow. Because we'll need OpenSSL to generate the CA certificate, we'll first verify if it's installed by running this command on the command prompt. As you can observe, I have OpenSSL installed. If you don't have OpenSSL installed, you can run the following commands on either Linux or macOS to install the same. Certificates signed by your CA are required to have a specific setting for signing certificates called basic constraint. The default value in the system's default configuration file is set to false. However, for our use case, we need to set it to true. To get around that limitation, we'll create a new file called rootca underscore OpenSSL.conf in our working directory. Copy the following contents into the file and save it. Now we'll create the custom root CA by first creating the private key, then creating the certificate signing request, and finally creating the certificate itself. Having done that, fetch the registration code for the region you'll be using AWS IoT in. The code will be used as the common name for the verification certificate private key. Then generate a key pair for the private key verification certificate. We'll get a file called verificationcert.key. Now we execute the following command to create a certificate signing request for the private key verification certificate we'll get a file called verificationcert.csr. Make sure that when you're entering the values that you enter the common name equal to the registration code that we received in the previous step. We use the CSR to create a verification certificate. The verificationcert.pem file we get from this step is used when we register the CA certificate to AWS IoT. Next step is to create a just-in-time provisioning template. First, we will need an AWS IAM role that the JITP template can assume. To create the same, we'll navigate to the IAM console and then create a role for the IoT service. To do this, simply log into the AWS management console and navigate to the IAM console. Select roles on the left navigation pane. Here, choose create a role. Choose IoT and again IoT. Choose next to proceed. Give this role the name JITP role. As we can see, all the necessary policies required are already provided by default. Choose create role to save these settings and then copy the role layer in. Now that we have our role layer in, we'll add this to a JITP template, JITP template.json. We'll also replace the account ID placeholder with our account ID.
Now that we have our JITB template, root CA and verification certificate, we are ready to register our CA certificate with AWS IoT. Run the register CA certificate CLI command to register the root CA as a CA certificate in AWS IoT. We are adding the parameter registration config to attach the JITB template to the CA certificate. Now that we registered a sample CA certificate with auto registration status enabled and associated it with a provisioning template, we can try using the CA certificate to sign a device certificate. The device certificate will be provisioned in AWS IoT automatically when it first connects to AWS IoT Core. Make sure that you are in the same directory as the root CA, that is, the files rootca.pem and rootca.key that we created earlier as these are used to sign a device certificate. Also, download the root CA1 as rootca1.pem which is used for server-side authentication when we publish requests to AWS IoT. To create a device private key and CSR, run the following commands in the terminal. According to our template that we have used, the thing name must be equal to the certificate's common name. And the attribute country must be equal to the value of the country present in the certificate. Therefore, be sure to add the value of the thing name in the common name property as well as populate the country name parameter. I'll set the common name as demo thing and country as in. Now generate the device certificate. Note that this certificate is valid for 365 days as specified in the command. Then we create a file that contains the combination of device certificate and its corresponding CA certificate. To find the IoT endpoint for your region, run the described endpoint AWS CLI command. Finally, we'll make a dummy publish call to AWS IoT using Mosquito MQTT client with a dummy client ID, a dummy topic name, AWS root CA1 certificate, device private key, and the combination of root CA plus device cert. The call fails the first time. However, when AWS IoT receives this published call, it creates a certificate, policy, and thing. It attaches policy to certificate and then attaches certificate to thing. If you don't have Mosquito, you can use any other method such as AWS Device SDK to make this published call to AWS IoT. Now that we made our first dummy published call, we'll navigate to the IoT Core console and make sure that the JITP template executed successfully. Here, we'll first check the thing that was created by choosing things. As we can see, a thing called demo thing was created and can verify the attributes that were added to it. We will click on certificates and verify that a certificate was attached to the thing. Here, we can verify that the certificate was created and it's an active state. Choose policies to make sure that the policy was attached. Click on the policy to view the policy document. Now that we've verified that the resources were created by the JITP template, we'll use the device certificate to make a publish call to AWS IoT. Navigate to the IoT Core console and choose test. Set subscription topic as demo thing slash test. According to the policy that we added in the JITP template, we can connect only when client ID is equal to thing name and only publish, subscribe, receive from or to the topic thing name slash star. Also, in the next publish call, we can use the independent certificate instead of the combined certificate. Run the publish command and then publish a message from Mosquito to AWS IoT using our custom device certificate generated using our custom root CA. A message was published to AWS IoT Core 
and as we can see in the test console the message has arrived. Going forward you can simply follow steps for performing JITP to create new device certificates and then get them registered to AWS IoT via the dummy publish call that executes the JITP template attached with the registered CA certificate. Note that the next time you perform JITP with a new device cert, for example one called device cert2.crt, the policy that was created the first time is the one that will be used. A new policy will not be created. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.